In this video, we're going to talk about bilirubin metabolism. Bilirubin metabolism is important because hyperbilirubinemia is a condition where you have high amounts of bilirubin that can lead to jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and of the eyes, for example. And this could indicate something sinister. So bilirubin is formed uh, by breakdown of heme present in hemoglobin. So the story starts with an old red blood cell, which enters what's called the reticuloendothelial system, which is in your liver and in your spleen. Here, they are engulfed by macrophages. The red blood cells contain many hemoglobin molecules normally, which are broken down to heme and globin, hence the name hemoglobin. Heme is further broken down by two enzymes, uh, heme oxygenase followed by biliverdin reductase, forming bilirubin and iron. The iron and the globin is recycled to make more red blood cells. The bilirubin formed is in an unconjugated form, so it's unconjugated bilirubin, and it is lipid soluble. And so it has to bind to something, and albumin is the protein which acts as a transporter. So this unconjugated bilirubin uh, is bound to albumin, but it also can bind to other things such as high-density lipoproteins, and less often it can circulate freely in an unbound form. Bilirubin is also formed by the breakdown of other things such as myoglobin and cytochrome enzymes. Anyway, this albumin-bilirubin complex circulates around and then enters the liver system where it disassociates. The unconjugated bilirubin is taken up efficiently by the hepatocytes while the albumin remains in circulation. Bilirubin enters the hepatocytes through facilitated diffusion, essentially through a concentration gradient. Here, they undergo what is called glucuronidation. This process makes substances such as the bilirubin more water-soluble, which allows it to be excreted in bile and in urine. Glucuronidation is carried out by a family of enzymes called uridine diphosphoglucuronate glucuronosyl transferase, or UGT. In the case of bilirubin, uh, it is bilirubin UGT. The unconjugated bilirubin is now conjugated bilirubin and is water soluble. It is secreted into the biliary system and is a component of bile. Conjugated bilirubin travels down the bile duct where it joins with the pancreatic duct and into the duodenum through the ampulla vata. The conjugated bilirubin is now in the small intestine where it continues its journey. Majority of bilirubin here is actually conjugated, 98% obviously and only a small proportion is unconjugated bilirubin. Conjugated bilirubin, remember, is water-soluble, and so it is not absorbed across the lipid membrane of the small intestinal epithelium. In comparison, the unconjugated bilirubin fraction is partially reabsorbed and undergoes uh, enterohepatic circulation, which is where it travels through the portal system back to the liver. So entero, intestine, hepatic, liver, circulation. This unconjugated bilirubin can then undergo uh, glucuronidation again to become a conjugated bilirubin and water-soluble. Going back, this conjugated bilirubin actually continues traveling to the large intestine where it is exposed to so much bacteria. Here, the bilirubin is reduced by bacterial enzymes to a series of molecules termed urobilinogens. Urobilinogens are partly absorbed in the bowel and undergoes again enterohepatic uh, circulation, where the urobilinogen will enter the liver to get processed again. Now, the fraction that is actually not cleared by the liver will enter the general circulation and is partly excreted in urine. Urine bilinogen gives urine its yellow color. Majority of urobilinogens is actually excreted in feces. 
the urobilinogens here are further oxidized to form urobilins, including uh, stercobilin. Oxidized urobilinogens, which I mentioned, gives feces its brown color. So in summary, bilirubin is a breakdown product of hemoglobin. Initially, it is unconjugated, enters the liver, and becomes conjugated, which is water-soluble. It then gets further digested, oxidized by bacteria, and this oxidized form is urobilinogen. It can be reabsorbed or excreted in feces. And if you have high amounts of bilirubin, this can lead to jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and of the conjunctiva. High amounts of bilirubin, hyperbilirubinemia, can be an indication of an underlying disease. This will be discussed in a separate video.